How's everybody doing today? Happy Monday. It's probably the first time I've ever been happy on a Monday. I spent the whole weekend waiting to get this bad boy unboxed. I held off just for you guys. So remember to give me a thumbs up or a like, please. Even a sub. That would be great. All right. What we're going to do is go over quickly some of the stats, and then we're going to do an unboxing on this baby. And towards the end of the video, once I get stuff clipped in, I'm going to be able to put some benchmarks in. Hopefully it'll help. Okay, so this card versus its, its brother, the 3080. It's virtually the same size as the 3080 FTW3 Ultra. Um, we are literally looking, we are literally looking at the same, same exact weights. It's got the same heat sink on it, all that stuff. Um, as far as the, um, I'm going to have to basically read some of this off, but coup de cause. This has 10,240 versus the 3080s. 8,704. The TI has a bus speed of 384 versus 320 with the 3080 regular. Memory bus, 912. I think this is right, versus 760 on the 3080. Memory clock is the same at the 19,000 or 19, the 19 number. Um, Virtually power supplies, they're looking for a 750 watt. I think it'll run with a 650 without any overclocking. You should be able to run it fine with a 650. Um, I would think going higher would be better. I would probably say if it says 750, if you have an 850, you'd be golden. And the power consumption on this is definitely a little bit more. Not a whole lot, but we're looking at about 350 versus 320. So... On that note, I'm going to change views for you all because I have some cameras, some other cameras coming in shortly. Um, so I'll be able to video while I'm doing this part. I'll be able to video the shot of the unboxing all at the same time, clip it all in. I um, just, as you can see, I'm still working my butt off to get things squared away here. Um, it's, it's been a long road every day I find something different that I should be doing so um, I'll be running everything off of the Elgato face cam there's going to be two of them in and I have the Aver Meteor P513 beautiful camera expensive they're all over two hundred dollars but if you go with a DSLR you're looking at four six eight a thousand um, I'm not quite there yet. I'm going to be more into the sales end once we get rolling. We finally, today is the day we're getting everything officially back, so we're going to know 100%. Um, like I said, distributors are already secured. And on that note, you guys don't want to listen to me blab about that stuff, but we will be having some online fun, okay, in the future. On that note, we'll be back with this bad boy. Okay, so here we are. Obviously, what I'm going to tell you is it's been killing me all weekend to, to not open this. I, I've virtually been dying to open this up. So, I haven't. I wanted to wait for you so we could do this together. As you can see. Kind of hot. I get stand on my toes because I'm shot, you know. So when I do these videos, like, but you can see all of the tape is on and secure. Has not. Well, there ain't none on that side. What am I doing? Okay. Well, anyways, yes, you can see both have not been cut. So we're gonna cut it. We're gonna cut it. Come on down. Oh. We're going to get to do peels. I never knew what people liked about it until lately. I've 
actually like oh peels don't want to peel come on all right yeah so here we go we have got Houston we have takeoff okay got some nice little thumb holes in there say got some thumb holes in there I'm gonna grab it oh Shazam nice boxing I don't want to damage it all Yeah, yeah, all right, I'm gonna hit the camera. This is what I mean by I gotta get my other camera set up on the, the correct things that are mounted. What do we have? Oh, baby, I'm already liking what I see. I do like what I see. Here we go. Okay, first. We have that crazy little bracket that uh, somebody said. <laughs> I was watching a video the other day. I, I, the guy did a good job with the video, but he, just, he took this bracket out. He's like, you take this bracket and you screw it on the side and you stick it to the bottom and it like goes up. No, it doesn't. No, let's, let me show you exactly. <laughs> I don't know if he was joking or serious. I was like, what? No, not at all. Okay, this bracket goes on the rear part of the card. It sits this way. You take the screws out in the back plate that are on there. You replace it with this. And it. And he, he was like saying it sits under the card. No, it doesn't. It, it sits on the back plate like that and gives the back plate support across the back. But that ain't the main reason for it. The main reason is this little lip that goes over the back plate and down it's got two screw holes in it they are threaded and obviously it's meant for some type of bracket to either go up back or down somewhere to give this card support from the rear so it doesn't sag um but to this day and i have looked everywhere i've googled it out if anybody knows where a bracket's made that connects to this, please let me know. I, I would love to know because I can't find it. I can see how easy it would be to make one, but that's for another day. And we have our little little booklet, little, little thing. What's it got in here? Oh, oh, nice. Oh, it's aluminum. A nice little aluminum EVGA. Emblem, emblem. Cool. They didn't give that one any of the other ones I reviewed. That's nice. I like that. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. Put it on my forehead. Call me the vision version of EVGA. Okay, here we go. This is never easy getting these things out. They really pack them in there like 10 mofo okay ah there we go baby okay put that over there and let's put this over higher back on camera they did a nice job okay Here we go, peeps. Here we go, peeps. Here we go, peeps. All right. Oh, yeah, we're going to get to do a peel. Oh, sweet. Nice. Looks a little bit different than the other ones. Hmm. This is all ARGB. Um, I know it comes with a, a switch on it where you can turn the ARGB on somewhere. We'll look for that after. But that's not the most important thing. They pack, they, they got nice, they do have a nice rubber protector for the PCIe. Okay, great. I was wondering about this. If it was going to have the red clown lips like the, uh, the 3090. They never changed it on the 3090s, but they did the other ones. The 3070s, the 3080s. And I was wondering about this one because this is basically a 3090. It's just downsized. 
if you take the comparison between the 3080 and this in frame rates to this and the 3090, this is much closer to the 3090 than it is to the 3080. Like three frames different in almost every bench. Um, and probably eight, nine frames away from the 3080. So three, fr three frames away from the 3090. So you can see there is a difference. Basically, the chip on this is a 3090 chipset. That's just been kind of wound down a little bit. Okay, so what we're going to do first, let's do the... Let's do the peel. You guys got this peel? Ah, yeah. Oops. Oh, this stuff is really sticky. Okay. We'll do this peel. Wow, this is really nice. It's heavier than I thought. Oh, let's get that on. I know everybody likes the sound of... Oh. Maybe we can get a good one out of this. on the back plate okay so we do have a metal back plate probably I would have to say definitely aluminum yes definitely okay it's still they're putting these bigger these bigger um, components on here instead of having them all the small what do they call them the T I gotta look it up I see yeah, it's so much stuff all right we have three eight pin power connectors Nice, but they are upside down. I'm gonna have to change them. Oh, all right. Three fans on the on the on the shroud side, and they all appear probably to be I would have to say 90s. I'll double check on it. Maybe 100 millimeter. I would have to say closer to 90 millimeter fans. 92 maybe. It's a three slot cod. It's 11.8 inches long by 5.4 wide. And it's gonna be three, it's probably like 2.7 wide, which is gonna just be, let's just say three, three slots it's gonna take. Okay. And on it we also have You do have a little bio switch on here somewhere. I'm wondering where they put the the thing for the light. Oh, oh yeah, okay. In the back right here, see where you can control the RGB. We can do that from this side. And they did correct something on this. On the other, no, they didn't. They're still using the 3090 back plate. See the cutout? That's okay. It's all good in the hood. Okay, there's our bio switch stashed away over there, and it probably comes, it probably would come, I think, with on performance mode. Normal. Okay. So normal, it's all the way over. And that's where it is, yeah. Oh, OC would be forward. Okay, and there's also a middle that you can put it in, and you can go in and do your own overclocking we're gonna leave it on normal for now man you think they can make these a little smaller little munchkins so we have a, a great cooling solution on here it's got a nice heavy-duty aluminum fins attached to copper nickel plated copper piping you can see right here we have the copper wow that's a big sucker too the copper plate for touching the um, processor, or the GPU rather. Nice clean GPU bracket. I noticed they're different on most of them. I'll hold the GPU bracket, GPU bracket in. 
FTW3. Okay, we have some EVGA lighting on the back here. Nice. EVGA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti on the front. I'm wondering where else it lights up. I know the other ones, this whole thing lights up. I don't think this does. I think this is a little bit different design than the 3080. The 3080, the whole thing's plastic and lights up. This one is kind of chromed out. And it doesn't have a separate peel to it. It came with it already on the first one. Okay. We have the EVGA logo right here. GeForce RTX over here. And you've got your little EVGA indents on all the fans. They look like, I, I, always never, I never really looked at them good. I always thought they were like little raindrops. Raindrops, you know. Um, so that about is it for this part. The next part of this video will be me installing it. And then me doing benchmarks on it and I think I'm gonna keep this for a while unless I come across a 39 well I am getting a 3090 but it's gotta be one that I like because the 3090 it's, it's for gaming you, you're wasting your money but if you're really into video editing it's worth every penny this is what I was talking about with the back plate you remove these four screws with my trusty little my little wow tool you take these screws right out bank little wow stick this goes on like so it has to go that way that couldn't go any other way so once it gets screwed in there you can see how this little lip hangs over and where a bracket would go in. Kind of crazy looking, huh? I really wish they would have made a bracket to go with it. I'm wondering about something. Okay, so we have an ARGB plug in the back and a 12 volt RGB. So if you want to go and just change it to a solid color and leave it on a solid color, boom, you can do it. If you want it to just deal with the flow and you can set it to your boards, Boom, five volt. All right, don't want this video to end up two hours long. I know how bored people can get. Why did they even send this? It doesn't have, why did they send that? This is basically, oh, I get it. Okay, maybe just a little extra, doesn't really need it. All right, people, it's been great so far. Be back to see you soon. Let's zoom down. And is autofocus working all right? Bang, there we go. Nice close look at it. Tell me what you think, people. Please remember to give me a thumbs up. I'm not getting paid for this or sponsored by anybody. I do this all on my own. All on my lonesome. I think it's nice. I always, I tell you what though, I, like, I do like my Asus, man. I love the way that thing looks. Well, we'll see what happens if I end up selling it. Maybe I'll just keep it. I'm getting a little greedy there. Actually, it'd be nice to put in a streaming rig. I'd like to build a separate computer for a streamer. All right. Got to hit the road, Jack. So, um, all right, please, again, remember to give me a thumbs up. Sub to my channel. It's helping me grow. Your people are starting to come around. It's starting to get there, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next part of the video. Yowzer. Wow. I am really surprised with these benchmarks. I, I am pleasantly surprised actually okay so i said i'd be back i'm back i spent quite a bit of time running benchmarks i was going to do the videos show you the video and all, but geez that, that would take going over seven eight games and the 3d benchmarks uh, um 3d mark benchmarks uh, it, it would have taken another hour so i'm just going to go over the numbers and anyways so what do you think
I think it looks nice. I actually thought this was going to be like chromed out, but it is when it's turned off. I've been, uh, this is my, the, the first time I've looked at one of these really good and it kind of lights up. It comes right through it when it's on. So I, I think it's kind of nice looking and on the top. I don't know, my tubes are in the, my, my tube, my tubes, my pipes are in the way. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, forget it. I did end up putting that bracket on because I am going to, at work, go to the machine shop and I am going to look into making a bracket for it just for the heck of it to see what I can make that looks nice. But I did put a up here bracket underneath because I did get a little sag, but it's really not that much heavier than my Asus. Um, so, to get to it, all right, in Fortnite, the 3080 benched out at around, in, now everything I did was in 1440. I didn't really get too much into 4K because I wanted to be realistic. I have 1440 monitors, I, so I wanted to keep it right around there. And most people, for the most part, are still running 1080 with a, with a higher... Um, refresh rate you know they're getting into the 165s and stuff so a lot of people are starting to come over to 1440 but 4k very minor maybe two percent that's really more for um graphic design and stuff okay so in fortnite the 3080 got a uh, it got around 220 to 226 the 3080 ti ended up getting around 230 to 233 so there was a bit of an improvement there and this is with a 5950 on a MSI board with 32 gigs of RAM at 3200 all right on to Red Dead Red Dead it pulled the 3080 got around a 92 to 95 the TI got around between a 100 and 104 don't mind me give me one second okay 104 quite a good quite a good improvement doom doom eternal the 3080 got a 212 I'd say 210, 213. It depends where it was in, in, the, in the, you know, what video was displaying at the time, what part of the video. Um, the, the TI in Doom got a 218 to 221. Zero Dawn Horizon, 3080, 111, 113. The 3080 Ti, 120 to 123. Still a good improvement. Assassin's Creed. Remember, this is all in 1440p. Assassin's Creed got around 68 to 71 with the 3080. The 3080 Ti got a... 83 to an 86 fluctuating again depending on what part of the video it was running in battlefield 5 140 140 to 143 for the 3080 the 3080 ti got 150 to 153 another good improvement everything's a good improvement on this I was very very surprised Metro Exodus 146 to 147 148 a couple times it touched um, the TI Metro Exodus 155 to 157 Marvel Avengers 3080 
150 to 153. Marvel Avengers 3080 Ti. 158 to 162. Again, this is all depending on what part of the video was going. And it's on, again, it is on a MSI X570 carbon Wi-Fi motherboard. 32 gigs of RAM running at 3200 with a 5950 water cooled. And then I guess the rest of the stuff. And again, here on 3D Mark, this was really surprising. I figured I'd leave that up. We can see what I got. The 3080 ran a 15778 with a graphic score of 17336. CPU at a 10456. Now that was running that was running pretty darn good. Okay, let's come over to here. Yeah, I didn't get a good of a screenshot. I had to take a picture. Something was goofing me up. Okay. We got with Time Spy an 18468. Very good. With a graphic score of 19845 well I thought it was going to get almost 20 that was 20 is what the 3090 got um, the CPU 13257 with a 180 frames and I don't know why the frames didn't show up on the other one but in the past when I did it, it got around 170, 172, 175 rather. So again, there we have it, folks. The card runs good. It runs cool. I seen a lot of people complaining about the heat, but yes, it's an aluminum back plate and it does get warm when it's cranking. But these cards are made to handle it these cards are made to handle it so I've got to get the work on my workbench and stuff got a few other things to do yeah I just got some stuff in up there um, not as much as I would like so I hope everybody enjoyed this please give me a thumbs up subscribe it really helps the channel I really do enjoy doing this so I hope everything works out, and I hope this I was I, I hope this helped you out. Maybe maybe you'll decide to uh, to go with it. I mean I know it's a bit of a difference in price, but if you go out and buy a 3090, it's going to be a lot more expensive when you're getting maybe two or three frames left, unless you're video editing. Then you can use that extra RAM, but you know that extra memory. But there's not a whole lot you can really do about that. All right, another 10 minutes down. Shite. Okay, people. Everybody have a great day.